they're off. They raced away. Uh, we've got to love a grey fast, bunch and very slow to go. And also uh, Graceful uh, Thunder is one of the first to show Betty's Bay and also Princess Tujara on the far side on a green hot front and Flora uh, Bermuda with those. And they are then followed through by Out of the Stars towards the right, uh, Crimson Advocate in the red leading to Kotai Vision. Up there with these as well, thanks but no thanks and launch and got to love a grey. The yellow jacket then, a beautiful diamond is not far behind. Kinana is right on the heels of these two. Rebel Rally and the Green Colours has already they approached the final two furlongs and Crimson Advocate in the red, white and blue the near side a beautiful diamond moves through in the second position behind this Rebel Rally got to love a grey and Juniper Berries over on the far side the dark blue of Flora of Bermuda's up there but near side it continues to be Crimson Advocate with a clear advantage but here is Relief Rally and Tom Marcon coming towards the line is very tight Crimson Advocate and Relief Rally behind those a few lengths away the beautiful Diamond and Juniper Berries and Flora of Bermuda. Oh, what a finish. Oh, has Relief Rally bobbed it on the line? I don't know. It's so close. So close. Crimson Advocate and oh my goodness me relief rally who was causing all those problems before the start in a photo in the queen mary who's won it kev do you know you're gonna call it oh, you're brave enough God, i think it's the american philly isn't it oh. oh it's desperate i think relief rally was in front for a moment oh, oh how was your bob? maybe slightly oh. before and slightly after oh, the line but tough. for those of us with relief rally we may Oh, I think we may have to settle for, for second there. But let's talk about both these fillies. Jamie mentioned Crimson Advocate beforehand, who was a Gulfstream winner last time out. Johnny Velasquez has a fantastic record at Ascot. Oh, no, fair play to them. Look, because, you know, I, I, I was going to make the point beforehand, you know, we've, we've, we've changed with these Americans. Yes. You, know, you remember for a time, you know, Wes Ward, when he came here, like they were so feared. There were some of the high parses of the entire week. They've gone a little bit low profile. We had a couple of soft ground askets where they weren't showing the best effect. But it's George Weaver this time showing us that the Americans are still a factor, especially in these five furlong races for juveniles. What do you think, Jamie? It's, it's a new name to us, George Weaver, but he's had one Royal Ascot runner in the past. And even though it's a new name, it's a classic brazen speed American performance. Relief Rally had to chart and check a passage through. It's gone on for a long time, this photograph. <laughs> it's not maybe as... I, I, I mean, I, I'm going to make no bones about it. Relief Rally's my selection here. I think I may have been beaten, be gutted if that's the case, but wonderful for America. And if they have one with Crimson Advocate, that'll be a fifth victory. Here it comes. Number nine, called the winner, Crimson Advocate. It looked that way, Kevin, and it looked that way, Freddie, but it's another win 